I've been up all night, so I'm gonna be loopy. Streaming on twitch.tv slash Sayushi official come chill or uh become ill. See? I'm so hip with the kids. It's not like I'm in my 30s. <laughs> Why would you think that? <laughs> Let me just drop some of this garbage off. Welcome to Trove. I am the garbage collector. What the? No, I want that in my inventory. Hey, Jen. Ugh, why do I always go up here to this portal? You know what? Let's go see what the quests are. This is totally going to be like interesting. You guys like that green screen behind me? That's it's actually not the green screen. That's just my power emanating because I'm so big brain. <laughs> that's all it is. So pay no mind to it. Ugh. What movie were you going to watch? Oh, yeah, we actually got Twitch chat showing up properly now. So I don't have to respond by first saying everything that you guys just said yeah so i'm still working on it guys you're seeing this a little early uh i did end up getting a crystal tree staff i've got maxed out i maxed out my gems pretty much on my draco uh but i'm in the process of editing that stream down to be like a proper size video so as of right now it's uh he he you guys are kind of seeing the future you know because it's going to take a little while to get that ready. I don't know what you're talking about. Let's speak Russian. Ah, das I don't know what that means. I think that means hello. <clears throat> so how you gamers doing? I'm new to troll. What do you recommend to getting more powerful? Uh, gear, first of all, and then just leveling, which obviously. Uh, and then otherwise, gems. Later on, you're going to work towards getting dragons because they give you like tons of power. But for the most part, it's just based off of the gear at the beginning. Ugh! My body is attacking me. I think it's my powers behind me. You know, they're just like starting to creep into my mind. I didn't know you could visually see how smart I was, but... Yeah. Any giveaway today? Uh, well, we'll definitely give away the Stellars that we end up getting. That's for sure. Uh, I don't have any plans just because it's so short notice of dropping anything else down. But I do plan on streaming more often. This is already like my fifth stream this week. I know that not all of you guys have caught them, but I I'm planning on streaming a lot more often and doing lots of other games too. I might do Red Dead today, just because I love that game. Or, or, do you guys want to see me play through Untitled Goose Game? Like the full actual game, because I could do that, except unfortunately I've already seen other people play through it, so I know exactly what to do. <laughs> But I could, it could be fun. I could play sarcastic and tell you guys... Uh, I could show you guys the true story of how Gandhi got his powers. Because there is an actual ending to that story. Yeah, this is the new green aura. Uh, because this is my stellar hat. If you guys want to end up getting this stellar hat, you can just pay to win it. Uh, you buy it in my merch store. Say please in Russian. I can't understand what you mean. Uh, TT talk. Okay. Play your boyfriend on PS4. It's free. You make a great argument. But here's my uh, rebuttal. No. <laughs> We're actually insanely powerful on the Draco now, by the way. I can use my uh, right click shot and it will... I think at two shots... Like, uh, boss, where is this? What the? Oh, it's just chilling in the corner. Okay. Ah! 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 Oh, yeah, we got like a million jump because I've got jump on my Crystal 3 staff right now because I haven't. Oh, you can't see it because of my stellar aura. Because I haven't been able to reroll it just because we have the second stat reroll event right now. That. Oh, I thought the five star dungeon wasn't complete. 
No! Is it this one? Haha, <laughs> see I'm so big brain. Alright, let me uh let me fix this green screen situation we got going on, boys. See the reason that I don't want to end up putting all the blinds down, which ultimately is what's going on with the green screen, is because the doggos, Budge and Jub, are sitting in the sun. And I don't want to take that away from them. Do you? Oh, here, guys, check this out. People on YouTube won't understand what this means, but check out these new advertisements over on uh, over on Twitch. Oh, it won't let me run it. Here, I'll just keep spamming the button until it works. There we go. Jeez. <laughs> oh, so what happens? This is a secret message for you guys on YouTube. What happens is that now on Twitch, my stream goes into the corner, but it ends up getting muted. So nobody knows what I'm talking about. Some of you guys will know what I'm talking about because some of you guys didn't get ads, but a lot of you guys are gonna have to watch this afterwards on YouTube. And for anybody that sees me in the corner while having my video be muted, they can see me doing all of this and they'll be wondering and thinking like, oh, he must be talking about something exciting, right? Also turn off ad block, you freak. You're not supporting me. I will ban you. No, not really. Um, what are you talking about? Jan got. Oh, oh, you Tim Tao. Uh, yeah, you could probably get an unban. I'm not exactly sure if there is an unban command. I'll have to double check and see if it works. Oh no, that's the unignore. There's no unignore command, right? Uh, but yeah, you guys can just say your in-game name and so long as you're on the right version of Trove, which right now we're on PC, you can end up getting an invite. Smart Garbage actually got four ads. Namaste. Thank you. Watching those ads is putting my future children through college. <laughs> Not really. It's helping me pay for food. You guys have some scary usernames, dude. Seriously. See, look at this. All I gotta do is just spam that right-click attack and everything dies. Oh my gosh, my neck is so stiff. Help me. Help me, you guys. Ugh. Oh, hey, T. Thanks for the sub with Twitch Prime. They've subbed for two months. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, if you guys don't know, you can sub with Twitch Prime for absolutely free. Also, some of you guys said, I'm new to Trove. There's a link in the description of pretty much all my videos. I don't think I have it here on Twitch. I should rectify that. Uh, but if you s use that sign up link for Trove, then end up buying anything out of the store. It just helps me. Like I end up getting a percentage of it, which is awesome. Also, if there's ever anything you guys want to buy on the Epic store for whatever reason, I have affiliate links. So if you guys, I'm just saying this randomly. If there's ever anything you want to buy on Epic Store, just let me know. I can hit you up with the affiliate link and then you're literally just paying the same you would for the game. But some of it is going to yours truly. Wow. And if you don't do it, well, then I'll destroy you. Nah, why are they hurting me so much? We, I keep forgetting we've got like a bazillion jump, so. It doesn't, like, I don't have to worry. Aha, I'm going to stare at you minions down there. Is there, I guess we weren't close enough to get whatever the drops were. Yes, I'm streaming you then, uh, again, Taco. I was just grinding Trove for no reason whatsoever anyway. I wanted to get my tomes done. And then I thought, okay, I might as well stream it. Blah. Um, no, I'm not top mastery. I'm, I'm top mastery, but I'm not top mastery. Uh, what I mean by that is I'm pretty sure the only, like, the only things I'm missing from mastery are stupid things. So I'm missing the geode recipes, which, uh, I'll just show you guys just how expensive it is to make these. Uh, and more importantly, I'm missing the rampage badges. And I don't think I'll ever end up maxing those out just because nobody grinds rampages. So, yup. 
but I'm missing, uh, where is it? Where is it? Come on. No, it's not these. Uh, these? No. Not the advanced building notes. Geode style stash. There we go. Because in the style section, oh, I'd have to double check. I'm missing like, I don't know. 80 of them or something it's some ridiculous number but you look at the amount of resources that these cost and it's just like ugh. all that for like it's a very minuscule amount of mastery as well like it's really disgusting so i don't know <clears throat> where did you get your mount this is the um what do they call it the rom rom com 9000 there it is rom dash 10 you get this it's a rampage mount you can or could have bought it from a 50 dollars dragon pack that's right i don't think that that pack is available anymore yeah i think that that pack is gone hmm that's pretty crazy and weird i mean the pack was a ripoff honestly speaking it was 50 dollars for one dragon and a bunch of resources and junk but whatever i mean i had to get it <laughs> what can i say um Uh, watching your videos for a little more than a year, just wanted to say swag. I don't know what that means, but thank you very much. Oh my gosh, we still have to keep going even higher. All right. Hey, six mod. <clears throat> Welcome to the first stream. Um. Yeah, Tim, tell I'll I'll get on that in a bit. I'm not gonna do it right now in the stream. Sorry. Where? What's going on? Help me. Ah, oh, there it is. Oh, man. I've been having so much Diablo on the brain lately because I did that Diablo 4 video that for some reason everyone got really mad at me about. And then I just stoked the fires by making a response video, which I thought was funny, but apparently some people didn't. Um, anyways, one of the commands, I think that was number four on the numpad. In uh, Diablo, you would use the num keys to end up doing uh, like different commands, like your character would shout things out. And if I'm not mistaken, it was number four or number two or something, and he would go, help, help me, help. And that sound bite is stuck in my head because we used to spam it all the time. Did we get another Stella or Crystal 3? No, I don't think so. Is that what this is? No, we didn't, okay. As a quick reminder, we will give away all the Stellars at the end of the stream. Uh, did you build your club world yourself? Uh, a lot of it, but not entirely. I still, it's on my list of things to do, to do a club world tour. I know, because there is a, like, there's so much history there. And it's been a long, long time since I did one. But a club world tour video, I am not prepared to do right now, because that would be well over an hour. And it just, I, I just don't have the time to do it right now. Not to mention, like, even right now, I can feel my throat is getting really, really tight. Uh, just because I've been up all night and I'm a little bit sick. Not like a crazy sickness or anything, but enough that, you know, enough that I know I can't commentate for an hour straight. <clears throat> um... Yeah, Jen can do the invites. Also, thanks, Jen. I really do appreciate that you keep inviting people, man. Helps out a lot. Where? Exit, please. Boop. It takes way too long. Way too long to get your daily cubits. By the way, like my God. Can I please just get them all at once instead of having to grind like fifty thousand dungeons? What's Vampire Essay saying? Um, okay, something about 10Ks. I don't entirely know what he's saying, but appreciated. <clears throat> Please pay me. Um, I pay you with kindness. That's enough, right? Because in all honesty, I'm not making enough. <laughs> I barely make enough for myself, okay? Especially with the views being lower lately. 
Yeah. Hey, you know what? Technically, speaking of being paid for being a fan, remember when D Live was awesome and then it got ruined? I do often think about experimenting and going back to DLive for a month and seeing whether or not it works out better for me than Twitch. Because DLive was a really good time, you know? Like, Twitch is great, and they're really at the forefront of, like, all the live streaming stuff. But DLive is a community, you know? It just sucked that they ended up changing the way that their chest worked. Uh, for those that don't know, DLive is another streaming platform that is endorsed by PewDiePie. They probably pay him like a ton. And uh, basically they had... They had this thing in place where by watching streams, you could literally end up earning the currency. And then you could exchange that for money or donate it to streamers. And then they changed it because stupid people started abusing it with bots and stuff and uh then i had to move on from using dlive because it just wasn't good enough why do you switch platforms so much what do you mean the only thing that i switch is my live streaming otherwise my platform henceforth has always been youtube and it always will be for live streaming though it's like i'm down to experiment because in all honesty it's not like my channel is established for live streaming i was doing live streams a lot more on youtube but i can't because youtube is stupid and streams just aren't working on it lately i don't know why even right now i am currently i currently have everything set up for me to multi-stream to youtube and twitch at the same time now what I do when I do that is I actually have the stream private on YouTube. This way I don't have to deal with processing time. I can just set the video to public, right? It's not actually streaming to YouTube. No reason. I have everything set up properly. But even if I wanted to stream to YouTube, I couldn't. It's just being so stupid. And the last time that I tried streaming on YouTube, um, the live chat just wasn't even working. It was disgusting. I do want to do more of the YouTube premiere videos, but I mean, my videos are like so short notice these days. I literally just upload them the day of and like pretty much just set it public myself. I rarely get to schedule them. And when I do, I'm usually like out of the house. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Woo. Thanks for the nubblies. They're delicious. I don't even know why we're doing this, by the way. You have alerts? Yeah, I always had alerts, but Streamlabs is stupid and didn't have them turned on for some reason. I finally figured it out and got those set up and the Twitch chat. Uh, there's some stuff that doesn't work properly. And just in general, it is, it is a mess. I still hate Streamlabs. <laughs> Pretty much the only reason I use it is because it's the only way that I can end up using loots. So if you guys don't know, again, and you don't have money and stuff like that, you can actually go to loots.com slash Sayushi and uh, send me a sponsored message. And then an ad will show up in the video and quite literally I'll end up getting a few cents. It helps me pay for coffee here and there. It's not like you make a full time living from using it or anything. It's funny how some like of their advertisements act like you do. And it's like, no, no, you really don't. Where is... Uh -huh. I'm hitting you guys with another ad. If Twitch will ever let me. Play ad. There. Stupid website. Can you carry me, U9 Geo Topsat? No. I will carry you at U10 if you end up coming over here, but. What is going on? Why did I see like a million people falling off of their mounts? It's like they're being bombed or something in Trove. This is scary. Where do we go? This way. Yes, more juicy ads. Aren't they delicious? I think they are. They're all they're nutritious for me. Woo! I like how it plays four ads instead of just a long ad. Like, okay. 
I have it set up so it plays like a minute ad for you guys, but for some dumb reason, the ads are like so weird. Let me see, uh, let me actually see in my settings here. Okay, there we go. Maybe now it'll work. Maybe. We'll have to try again in eight more minutes. <laughs> yeah, or you can sub with Twitch Prime. It's absolutely free, and then you don't see ads anymore. So take that. There is a five-star dungeon over there. You guys think we can get there before this guy's completed the dungeon? I'll do you one better. I think we can complete this other five-star dungeon before we get to his five-star dungeon, and we'll still be fine as far as the timer is concerned. Unless he's already activated the dungeon. It looks like he is walking around over there. Whoa, this Neo Ninja thinks that he's going to be a speedster. That is not the purpose right now, my comrade. If I wanted to be on a Neon Ninja and just blaze past everybody, I would. But I don't wanna. Aha! There's our first loot's message now! Thank you. I am the smart garbage. Ah, yes. I am the Draco. Arm yourself with an arsenal of weapons and blah blah blah! Ignoring that. What was the invite thing for? What invite? What are you talking about? You're scaring me. Whoa! Did we beat that? Did he beat that? Yeah, he already beat that our dungeon. <laughs> you guys are so slow. It's your fault, right? Totally not me. Uh, let me ban this guy. Unfortunately, he's got a terrible username. So. <laughs> Is this dungeon done? Yeah, it is. Good. Uh, the in-game name invite thing. Huh? Oh, if you want invited to the club, then you just say your uh, in-game name and someone will invite you. See, look at that. We can two-shot one of those guys. I really want to test out like on a five-star boss, which uh, essentially is the same as a three-star dungeon boss, but those guys have insane amounts of health, and I really want to see just how powerful we are as Draco on them. Because we're, we're beating these bosses pretty darn quick, I gotta say. So. Oh no! I'm coming, buddy! Oh no, he already completed it! <sighs> Smash his head on the ceiling. We're south. We gotta go south for the winter, okay. What's your type of favorite type of food? Example, Chinese. I love Chinese. I love all sorts of types of food, man. Like, it depends what I'm in the mood for. I like pizza when I like pizza. I love steak. That's probably my favorite. There's, in one of my vlog videos, uh, Mariko and I ended up making my favorite meal, which is steak with asparagus and fried onions, uh, sweet onion, and uh, sesame steak sauce. Also, the steak is wrapped in seaweed, and it's delicious. It sounds weird, but believe me, if you tried it out, the seaweed has wasabi in it, so it's a little bit spicy, and oh my god. That and tacos. I love tacos. God, I love tacos. I could eat a taco any day of the week, man. Don't make me think of food. <laughs> I will destroy you. Yoink! I love all these shadow items, you guys. Woohoo! I eggs are good too if you cook them right. There's a trick you can do where uh, Mariko showed me this. You hard boil an egg and then you put it in a sauce that's called ponzu. I think that's what it is. Uh, you put it in like a you know little plastic container. Uh, pour the ponzu and some water in it so that it's pretty much uh, covers the eggs and then you put a paper towel over top of it because then it ferments into the eggs and then you just leave that overnight and it's very quick very easy very efficient and very delicious eggs <clears throat> you eat trophlux oh you're scaring me i like how you're the number one cheerer too just because uh 
Uh, haven't been getting any cheers lately. That's okay. Oh, wait, we can start collecting gifts, you guys! I didn't even know that! We got Rainbow Six Siege's Jackal! Jackal? Jackal? Is it a Jackal? It's a Family Guy reference. Does this man not how to know how to bomb? He's literally attacking the wall and it just wasn't working. Oh my gosh, we already got seven gifts. I keep forgetting about the gifts thing because it always shows up at like the bottom of my screen. But uh, the gifts, we'll, we'll give away some. I don't know what they are. They're pretty much just uh, Twitch giving away free game stuff for very niche, very specific games. Stuff that probably literally cost like two cents. <laughs> I don't know. Cane sauce on your fried chicken. Never tried that. My favorite place to eat, there's uh, this Japanese place uh, here in Canada called Japanese Village. Oh my god, that is, that's my favorite meal. Like, the steak is my favorite home-cooked meal, same with tacos. But, uh, ooh, there's a meal that I can get at Japanese Village that is just my absolute favorite. I go there every birthday. It's pretty much the same thing. It's like a steak meal uh, that ends up having some... Uh, fish and shrimp and a bunch of other things it's a huge meal but i am a giant of a man so i have a huge metabolism because i mean come on look at these guns they're big as far as gamers are concerned shut up <laughs> anybody in the gym i'm still scrawny Sushi's also delicious, too. I should just have that as my auto response because, you know, Sayushi, right? I should always just say, Sushi's my favorite food. Ah! What about McDonald's? If I'm in the mood, sure. I'm not always in the mood for garbage, though. Sometimes I am, and sometimes it's like, oh, delicious. I love the Big Mac and French fries. And then other times it's like, this tastes like paste. <laughs> Thank you for resing me. I gotta get more pots. Doop, doop, ba doop, boop, 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 boop. What is bonjour? Take your free. Yeah, that's pretty much exactly what you just gave me. Now you're getting the hang of it. That's. <laughs> I'm not joking. That's pretty much what I get from each loot message. It's ridiculous. <laughs> I always call it McDolan's. What was, what was Whack Donald's from again? That was a show, wasn't it? That it had like a knockoff McDonald's in it or something? I don't know. Why is there a crystal just chilling up here? Excuse me? Is this a glitch? Yeah, I think it's glitched. Uh, is the gear secretly down here? Is it secretly up here and it just graphically shows it through the floor? Do I need to re-log in order to end up getting it? It's a shadow tree. What? Oh. <laughs> I thought that was a crystal tree uh, like hat and I freaked out. Or was about to freak out. But it's not, so it doesn't matter. The restaurant of the golden bird. Ah, yes. One day I'll be famous enough on YouTube that I'll start a restaurant. Because that'll be a good investment, right? <laughs> It'll just sell random things. Gaming food, right? And then we can have E-cans from Mega Man. Where they literally are just a normal uh, energy drink. And they're yellow like pee. Whoa! Boop. Hello, stupid. Are you prepared to die? No, please, God. Ugh, why was I born so ugly that people assume I'm bad? That was the enemy talking, not me, okay? I swear. <laughs> What about you guys? What's your favorite foods? It's probably a bunch of weird things. Like sewer water and like frisbees. You call the restaurant Gonda? Yeah. Sure, that'll get tons of business. Why do you have blue fire coming off of you? What? You mean this? That's my little dude. He's all charged up and powerful and ready to go, if that's what you mean. Whoa! 
I know I just keep saying that. I need to stop doing that. There, that's a better sound, right? That's l far less annoying because it reminds you of Waluigi. Ah! Wait, is there an actual place called Gonda for food? It's just chicken, yes. Fried Gonda, fried evil chicken. Hey, welcome to Gondas. Chicken's my father. <laughs> what? Yeah, you heard me. That's our slogan. We can't change it. We're legally obligated. We have to say it every time. Oh, Tim Tao is... What? He's in the club, but he's blocked from the world. Way to go, Trove. That totally makes sense. Jeez Louise. I just found your YouTube channel today. You have good tips. Thank you. I'm glad to help. I mean, I've been playing this game for over five years. I would expect to. If I played this much time towards World of Warcraft, guess what, guys? I would be a big U-Time channel. Yup. Big U-Time. <laughs> That's what I'm calling YouTube from now on. U-Time. But no, seriously, if I played any other game as long as I played Trove, man. It's ridiculous. I mean, that said, I don't like any other game. Like, I like Trove for this long. I, I don't like Warcraft. I tried to get into World of Warcraft Classic. Guess what happened? I got bored. Too much walking. Not enough combat. That's all you gotta do is just throw combat at me and I'll love it. I mean, look at Destiny 2. In that game, all you do, here's the gameplay of Destiny 2. Let me describe it for you guys. Shoot things. That's it. Everything. You come up to a puzzle. Hmm, what do I do here? Shoot it. Maybe there's an occasional parkour or standing in a corner for a raid for a while. That's it. There is no variation. Anything that you see in Destiny, you just shoot. And you know what? I love it because it's simple, it's to the point, it's casual friendly, and it's just a great time. Just like Trove is. Even though there's not really much to this game right now. What? I complain and praise fighting? Well, yeah. Obviously, because Trove's fighting is not really the best. Like, it's... The best MMO combat I've ever played with, but it definitely could stand to be a lot more complex. You know? Can you make a video of how to build the Draco? I already have one. I'm slowly working on making 2019 tutorials for all of my class videos. Uh, I already have older class videos that already cover pretty much everything that I'm going to talk about in a 2019 tutorial video. Uh, but that said... You can either check out the older video or wait until there's the new one. It's pretty much me just standing there for 10 minutes, just explaining. Here's the stats that you go for it, the same as every other character. Hiya! Oh, that didn't work. Well, that did. Can you show the mods you're using? I know, that's a, that's a big video that's been requested a lot where I have to do it right. I have to show off all the mods that I'm using, which means that I have to get a list because there's a lot of mods that I use that don't actually show up in my mods list here because I use a mod loader. And on top of that, I would want to have links to every single individual mod, whether it be on Trovesaurus or on the Steam Workshop. And unfortunately, it's it's difficult to end up doing that because I would like to make uh, on Steam. You can make like a, co a collection of mods or something like that. Uh, and you can do that on Trovesaurus as well. So I'd have to make my own mod list before I end up actually making the video on it. And there you go. Uh, Gunslinger, I'm pretty sure I already have a tutorial on that for 2019. I've got class tutorials on everything. They're not outdated by any means. I just want to make a 2019 variant just so that it's something more recent that people will search up. Otherwise, I could cheese it and do the same as other YouTube channels where I literally take my old tutorial and then just put 2019 in the title, even though the video itself is probably from 2017. But guess what? The classes haven't changed since then. <laughs> Is there any info on the Leviathan update? Um, what do you mean? 
do you just mean info in general? Because I've got plenty of videos covering the Leviathan update on the test server. Now, as far as uh, any news, like whether or not we've heard about it coming out or anything like that, maybe. There's the possibility, but I don't want to talk about it because in all honesty, I don't want to end up sitting here telling you guys, yep, it's coming out soon, uh, and then end up getting debunked again because, uh, you know, pretty much the release date is when it's out. <laughs> that's, that's all I can really tell you. Now that said, there's a lot of hints right now that uh, a very high possibility. Did I accidentally loot collect all my stellars? I did a staff. That was earlier, though. That doesn't really count, but... Um, so here's the hints, right? They're working on the Leviathan update again. They have uh, made a short... Like, it's a very small little hotfix onto the test server, right? And what that means is that they're actually working on the update and getting it ready to go live. On top of that, uh, they also ended up contacting me about setting up a partnership plan again because they talked about it and then they didn't follow through with it because the Leviathan update constantly got delayed and delayed. But now that they're contacting me again, that's another big, big hint that they're preparing for something uh, because they want to set me up with like a bunch of packs uh, that I can give away when the update goes live. I think anyways, that's what they want to do with me. Um, but my point is that they wouldn't have contacted me lightly if uh, the update wasn't soon TM. There's no official release date, though. Uh, I think that they're trying to get it to come out before 2020. But I mean, in all honesty, we'll wait and see. When 2020 rolls around, oh god, I'm going to be so busy. In March alone, you guys, you have no idea. We've got Minecraft Dungeons, Final Fantasy VII Remake, Doom Eternal. Not to mention a bunch of other games that I'm not even mentioning. Like, geez louise. And I want to play them all. I don't care. Final Fantasy is probably the first one I'm going to go through, even though everyone's going to want to watch me play Minecraft Dungeons. But, yeah. It's, it's great and it's frustrating at the same time, you know? Because even though I love those games, I know barely anyone's going to want to watch them. <laughs> Not unless it's Minecraft Dungeons, because then it's something kind of similar to Trove. But I don't care, man. Doom Eternal looks dope. And Final Fantasy VII is a game from my childhood that I literally haven't played in, like, years. And the remake just looks... Oh, God. Like, it makes me want to cry how awesome it is that they're actually doing that. And they're listening to fans, like, so hardcore with it. Yes, Doom is going to be beautiful. I'm really excited about that one. Because I loved Doom 2016. They really nailed what the classic Doom games were. I really hope they have a proper co-op. I know that at least we can invade people's worlds in Doom Eternal, so that'll be fun. In short, guys, it's a first-person shooter. And it's really arcadey and really, really fun. Has a great single-player campaign. Uh, and has the option of being able to invade other players while they're playing single player as monsters <laughs> literally a mode for trolling give it to me i love games that let you play as the enemies god i wish trove had a gameplay mode like that anything dude one of my favorite it was one of the least popular gears of war games gears of war judgment that was my favorite gears game you want to know why? Because it had the funnest multiplayer mode ever. The multiplayer mode was like a push-pull mechanic. And this was before like games like Overwatch existed. But on top of it, you were pushing as the monsters from the game. And as you would get kills and objective points, you could exchange those to become more powerful creatures. And you had to kind of save up your points, you know, decide whether you wanted to save your points to be like something really, really powerful or just grab something really quick and easy so that you can end up standing a fighting chance, right? And then the opposite team uh, was the humans who would basically be trying to defend and they would have like classes. So they'd have like lots of different abilities and stuff. And it's just, oh, it's just one of my favorite like game modes. 
Decided to try the combat in Warframe. I already had Warframe series. I've put 200 hours into Warframe and I am done with it. That game is boring. The combat's okay, but the game itself doesn't go anywhere for me. As of right now, the only thing left that I can possibly do in Warframe in, for in the form of progression is all of the complicated, boring stuff like Eidolons and junk. And it's like, I have no desire, no desire at all to end up playing that anymore. Uh, you can check out any of my other, you know, like videos of it. But needless to say, I am done with Warframe. <clears throat> yeah, I'm excited for the new, like, Railjack. I want that, and I'll definitely go back when the new open world shows up. But I'm expecting that I'll probably just end up doing, like, a one-off video and not actually go back to having a full series of the game or something. But for a random side game, you know, that's that's a pretty good amount of time. Oh, God. Um, just wanted to say I love your videos, and I watch your videos almost every day. Love your content. Thank you very much, Yaren. Really appreciate it, man. Seriously, those comments get right to the heart. Especially especially with all the craziness going on. Like those... I'm not gonna lie, guys. That Diablo 4 video really triggered me. That's the only reason I ended up making a response video to it. And then I realized, oh, this is just putting more fuel on the fire. So I guess I'm never doing that again. <laughs> but I wanted to, you know... I wanted to tell everybody, shut up. Give me a break. I have feelings too. But anyways, I'm really excited about Diablo 4. I don't care. I am so excited for that. That looks so fun. <clears throat> don't mind them. We are here to watch your content. They are just zoomers. I don't even understand what that means. I know that those, uh, like the boomer zoomer thing became popular because Pewds did a video on it, but I didn't watch it and I still don't understand the meaning. I know it's like some meme right now, so everybody's using the term. Like, somebody explain it to me. <clears throat> Try the new Warframe. I already tried Warframe, I know. The big thing too is that with Warframe, I only ever liked the melee combat. That's why I don't really have much appeal for the game, just because as far as the third person shooting is concerned, in all honesty, it's not my favorite. It's a mentality of phone bad book good. That's what a boomer is. Okay, so... That's not what the actual term boomer originally was, but okay. That's weird. <laughs> like, I know what boomer originally means. That's the people that messed up the economy. But I guess now it's just reserved for some weird type of troll thing to say you've got small brain. Which, okay. And phones are bad. I mean, wait, phone? What did you say? Phone bad, book good. Oh, oh, ugh. Oh, oh, God. Oh, it tastes awful. I just processed what that comment meant. Oh. Oh, I gotta go throw up. I'm oh, sorry, I gotta hit you guys with an ad first.
Okay. Reading. Am I right? Does anybody like reading? Hello. It is me, Bob. He's busy in washroom, so I take over, okay? You thought I was dead. No, I'm not. I've been biding my time. Slowly taking over the channel. I've been sabotaging his views. Have you noticed? Haha. <laughs> I've been slowly taking them away. I am also the one that's responsible for all of the dislikes on the Diablo 4 video. I have taken many, many years creating alternative YouTube accounts with fake Gmails so that I can dislike that video. Because no one will cover Diablo 4 as much as Bob will. No one. Oh, he's coming. I got to go. What are you doing here, Bob? Nothing? I'm just working the arms. Working the elk. What do you mean working out? You're scrawny and you're ugly. Get back in the basement. Get back. Get back in the basement. Hey guys. <clears throat> Yeah, that, um, that boomer comment, that was, that was good. <sighs> so I think this might be one of my last videos, because, uh, I think I killed Bob. <laughs> he tripped. That's okay. Nobody liked Bob anyway. <sighs> I'm free. I'm finally free. I don't have to listen to Bob anymore. He's always just going on about hot dogs. Hot dog this, hot dog that. I am the hot dog. Oh, I am the evil chicken. I mean, does anybody know what he's talking about? What a boomer. Hate that guy. And his fake Canadian accent. Like, he looks like me, but he doesn't sound like me. On a more serious topic, David Shear saying play the new Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Um, if you just look on my channel, there's a four hour video of me just going through the entire Modern Warfare campaign. So there you go. <laughs> You're welcome. It's already there. I loved it. Especially the stealth missions. <sighs> also, thanks for... Uh, enjoying the Destiny videos. I'm glad to hear. I'm sorry that I put out three videos today. I try my best to keep it to one to two videos a day. But, what can I say? I needed to rush out that uh, Zer video for Destiny. I was planning on putting it out tomorrow, and then I was like, why? Today is when it's relevant. Uh, but I'll try to have those videos out every Friday for Destiny. Do you have an account named Sayushi and an account named Scythe Plays? Okay, so my original account was actually this one right now, and it was called Scythe Plays. I changed my username to Sayushi, and then I claimed my old username, Scythe Plays, on my alt account. If that makes sense. Uh, but I ended up changing my username just because Scythe Plays felt too old to me. I mean, I know it makes sense, and I know it's got a lot of nostalgia value to it, and in all honesty, I know that it... Uh, Probably has better search terms than Sayushi, but what can I say? When I look at, you know, the top guys 
PewDiePie, Markiplier, Jacksepticeye, all these guys have weird alias names and it's very strange, but it's iconic. And with Sayushi, it's just because Sai is what people call me in real life and because my real name, name is Scythe. And Ushi is just because I like sushi. It's as simple as that. That Rip. Well, there goes that dungeon. <laughs> Anyways, let's give away these sellers, boys. So hop into Team Pixel and let's do it. Ah. Delicious coffee. The nectar of my life. Here is the guy from the Goose Game story thing. Yeah. I'm going to stream Goose Game after this unsarcastically too. Because I think it's going to be funny. Oh god, that's such a disgusting mouth. Thanks, kids, sir, for the nubblies. Appreciate it, man. They're delicious. You now made T exactly what his name is. It starts with a T, ends with an OO, two. Shame, shame, shame. <laughs> Pointing at someone and shouting shame like it's just, oh god. I'm so mean, my sense of humor. Yeah, so if you guys hop over by this chest, okay, get yourselves ready. I'm going to be throwing down uh, all the Stellas that we ended up getting. Uh, but let me just clear up my inventory a little bit here first. Just get rid of a bunch of this junk. My eyes, man. They're starting to tear up because I've been up all night. I'm not part of the club. Uh... Well, for future references, I'll give them away through the trade post. But for today, this is what we're doing. Sorry, mate. It's okay. You can always just drop down a follow. We'll do more streams, that's for sure. No, wait. Follow me on uh, DLive, right? Because I'll totally end up streaming on that platform again. I've been thinking about it low-key, guys. I really have. I do want to test out like streaming on it for a month just to see what happens. And then just come right back to Twitch. Because I like DLive. It's very personal. I know Twitch is too, but... Anyways, don't don't take anything I'm saying right now too seriously. It's not like any of it's set in stone. It's just an idea that I've been messing with. Oh, we're going to fill up our inventory. My god, we did a lot of dungeons. Ugh! Yeah, you guys can uh, definitely end up joining Team Ploxel. You just gotta get an invite from somebody. Not yours truly, just because I'm gonna be heading out. I gotta set things up so we play that goose game. So you can stick around for that if you guys want to end up hearing the story of Gonda. You can check that out. We'll be streaming that in a bit, and I'll have that go on YouTube someday. I don't know. Because <laughs> it's probably going to end up being all uncut, just all the way through. But I thought that would be interesting to play it. Either way, that's going to do it for the stream. Thanks for coming out, gamers. Really appreciate it. Uh, for those of you watching this after on YouTube, I'd appreciate you smash like, sub for more, all that stuff. You guys know how it is. You guys here on Twitch will give away these weird presents that Twitch has. Distribute gifts. Boom. Distributing, distributing, distributing gifts. We've got 10 of them. And apparently it's Rainbow Six Siege colon Jackal. I, I don't understand what that actually is, but there you guys go. You got a bunch of them. I'm assuming it's an item. Jackal from the community chest. Yeah, it's an item in Rainbow Six Siege. A game that none of you play. <laughs> Does anybody? Is it even a modern item? Like the last time, last item we got was some weird tank thing. Either way, there you go. You got stuff. Presents. Oh, you guys do play it. Is it new? Is it more recent? I don't know anything about Rainbow Six, so I don't know if that's like a more recent game or like a really old one, that's why. Oh, Jackal's actually a character. Ooh, okay. I thought it was just a gun, which is boring, but if it's a full character, that's pretty dope. 
he's the best operator. Oh, uh, well, I guess that's pretty epic then. Anyways, thanks for coming out, guys. Bye.